Tonight, get your scare on. We take you inside one of the creepiest places around. To get this chill to kind of go running down your back. The news is now. Coming up, this could be the creepiest place in the city. The rumors that you hear uh, are of all these noises when there's no one up here that could possibly be making any of these noises. Snug Harbor sounds like a quaint village by the sea, right? Well, it's actually an 83-acre site on Staten Island where old sailors used to retire and die. Lots of people think these historic grounds are haunted. Mary Murphy paid her first visit there and checked out the spookiest spots. A weather vane creaks on the majestic ceiling of Snug Harbor's main hall. The sound meant to emulate a ship and lull tired old sailors to sleep in their retirement home. Sailors from the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, the activity that's reported up here are footsteps. Brian Cano, a paranormal investigator, doesn't think the sailors are resting in peace. This is an electromagnetic field detector. And what do you use that for? Uh, the theory is that spiritual energy puts out EMF or electromagnetic fields. Cano leads a group called Scared and will host tours this weekend about the historical hauntings at Snug Harbor. The woman who was in charge of keeping the laundry girls in their rooms and now with the sailors broke the golden rule, fell in love with a sailor, and now she's roaming around looking for that lost sailor. There's actually a far more ghoulish legend that the same woman who ran the matron's cottage chained her disabled son in the basement until he broke free, killed her, only to be hung himself. And so there are legends that you can see the body of the son swaying in the trees. Kim Pinto told us even though the tree was cut down. When you get closer, it's misty and there'll be no mist anyplace else. As we walked along the landscaped gardens, Pinto told us stories about this passage, the LA. People were walking down the LA and saw a figure. Once they got to the end of the LA, there'd be no one there and they'd get that chill that would go down the spine. The LA is right near the old morgue, which has now been converted to a memorial for Staten Islanders killed on 9-11. In general, you usually don't get too much spiritual activity hauntings in a morgue or around a morgue. But the music hall is considered a hot spot. A lady in white is sometimes seen crossing the stage. There's even a ghost story associated with the founder of Snug Harbor, Robert Richard Randall, a Revolutionary War hero who's buried underneath this obelisk. Paranormal investigators believe that his figure has been seen at the waterfront looking across the harbor toward Manhattan, where he was originally buried at Trinity Church. But because ghosts can't allegedly cross water, he's stranded here. Randall had driven the ceremonial barge that delivered our first president, George Washington, to his inauguration in Lower Manhattan. But if you believe the ghost stories, Randall, too, is still a restless sailor. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.